Hello, Blake Ritis here with F64academy.com, and today I want to talk about the pen tool. Yeah, yeah, you heard me. That's how frustrating the pen tool can be if you don't know how to use it. Ah. All the frustration comes back to the very first time I ever used the pen tool. But with some skill and some time and some practice, you can use the pen tool to make some really awesome things like logos, custom shapes, and even turn this beautiful little 18 month old kitten into a shape that we could use time and time again, because who doesn't want a custom kitten shape? So let's jump into Photoshop and I'm gonna teach you all about how to use the pen tool. So if you've ever tried to use the pen tool, you kind of know that the pen tool, uh, pen is kind of the middle name, tool is the last name, and the first name of the pen tool is usually some type of expletive that begins with an F and ends with ING because it is a pain to work with if you don't understand it. So that's what we're gonna help you with today, using the pen tool. And it's not the easiest thing to do, and it's going to take some practice, but I can tell you, once you understand the pen tool, it can be a very successful tool to use because you can use it to make all kinds of logos, and you can use it to edit text, uh, and it re it's really a useful tool because you can make all your custom shapes and define them right in Photoshop and go back to them whenever you need to use them with the pen tool. It all starts starts with the pen tool, okay? So before we dive into the pen tool though, you have to know the hotkeys in order to use it really well. So over on f64academy.com, if you're already there, great. But if you're not on f64academy.com, click on this link and that will take you over there so you can download this pen tool hotkeys infographic that I've created that makes it really easy for you to understand all the different facets of the pen tool and how to use it better. Because if you first, if you just jump into the pen tool, it's the only tool in Photoshop that requires um, a, a very big steep learning curve, no pun intended, because it's all made of curves, uh, a very steep learning curve because you have to know all the hotkeys. So let's go ahead and jump in and look at how we actually use the pen tool. So I'm going to close this out. If you want that, again, go to F64 Academy and you can find it there. So here is our beautiful kitten that we got from uh, Adobe Stock. A uh, great place to find pictures of kittens if you're if you're curious. Uh, I recently made a logo out of a cat. Don't ask me why, but I recently made a logo out of a cat. And uh, it was a great place to go to find a, a, a beautiful kitten photo. I think this is an 18-month-old kitten, according to Adobe Stock. So the pen tool is over here. It looks like an old quill pen. Uh, the first hotkey I want to teach you is Zoom zooming in on your subject while you have a tool. So press control and space bar, and that will allow you to zoom in on anything uh, and edit it. The other hotkey I'm using right now is pressing space bar by itself. So when I press space bar by itself, it allows me to navigate around the canvas. And as soon as I release space bar, it goes back to my pen tool. Again, control space bar, that'll get you the, the magnifying glass or zoom tool right away. And then space bar allows you to use the canvas. If you release those, you go right back to using whatever tool that you're using. In this case, it's the pen tool. So it's your first two hotkeys. Uh, the the third one that we're probably gonna use a lot is control Z, which is undo. <laughs> okay, uh, definitely gonna use that quite a bit when using the pen tool. So we're trying to make just a clean logo out of this. So I'm not too worried about all the little hairs that are sticking up on this cat's head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click right here with the pen tool. That starts my very first anchor point. And then I'm gonna click over here with my pen tool. If you just click from one spot to the next, it's going to make a straight line. But if we wanna edit that, and, and move that and make a curve. You click and you drag it up and down before you release it, and that will create these uh, kind of corner uh, angles that you can make shapes with as you edit your image. And at first, it takes a lot of getting used to. It's almost like flying a plane. I've never flown a plane, but I've done it in video games where the up is down, the down is up, and man, life is just really kind of crazy. So uh, think about that. It's like flying a plane. The, the pen tool is like flying a plane. So go ahead and press the space bar and move around. So then the thing about the pen tool is it's really trying to find areas where curves are. So here it looks like another curve, and then here's a straight line, and then another curve. So I'm going to put a point right here. And follow that until I get the curve of the shape of the where the head meets the ear. If I need to edit these paddles at any time, we can use the alt key. And that will allow us to edit these little paddles and move that as we go through. That's a very important thing to understand that I didn't get at first. If I press control and click on one of the points, I can select that point and then I can use my arrow keys, my up, down, left and right arrow keys to get that point exactly where I want it. Again, press alt to, to manipulate our curve 
curve. And then I'll go ahead and just click another one right here and make sure that, that curve is set right. When you click that next one though, you see how these paddles, they kind of arrange themselves uh, based off of how they were made from the very beginning. So if it's a very big paddle that goes up here, you're gonna have a very big arch when you make it next. So again, press Alt or Option and just kind of move that until it gets right where you want it to be. I'll press the space bar and I'll move around. So the next curve I'm gonna hit is right around here. I don't wanna put it at the top of the point. I'm gonna put it right here. So I'll click right here and I'll just make my point. Now you see, as I was saying before, these anchor points, uh, they get bigger as you move up and down and you can alter them by pressing Alt or Option and clicking on them so that you can get the, the exact curve that you want. So I'm gonna click right here for the next one. And you see, because this one has such a small curve and this has such a big curve, it's making this big dip right here. So I'm gonna press Alt or Option, click on this paddle and move it up. See how I'm working here? And I'm working from curve to curve. So from this curve to this curve, we're perfect right there. And then again, go right here. So you can see how this can get pretty fast if you know the hotkeys as you're editing. So I'll click on this curve, perfect perfect little curve right there and then do it right here on this curve and get the nice little cheek of this beautiful little kitten and move that right about here perfect little curve right there okay and then now I'll move down and then I'll click right here. Again, I just did a, a one point click so it could have made a straight line, but because this paddle was so far out, it made a curve instead. So press Alt or Option, modify that curve and go right into there. Modifying these curves is what really is the, the important part that you need to grasp with the pen tool because that's the important part when you're making your selections because based on that curve is how it's going to make the, the selection around the image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around this entire cat and then I'm going to show you some other things. So remember those hotkeys as we go and go to F64 Academy and download that infographic if you need it. So I'm going to go ahead and move on and you'll see me kind of speed going through here as I make the selection for this cat. Now you'll see here, as I've been going through, I'm going through rather quickly here, obviously at 400% the speed of uh, light here because I've sped up the video, uh, but I'm going through rather quickly, quick clicking on my points, making the exact point that I want and manipulating them with those alt or option keys and the control keys and really getting them right where I want them to be. Now, when I first started with the pen tool, I was horrible at it. I mean, I think, you know, I've been in Photoshop for about 18 years and I, I would say that within the last two years, years I've actually gotten somewhat decent with the pen tool and I avoided it all together at all costs avoid the pen tool because it was rather difficult to use uh, but you know with some practice it, it gets really really easy so don't discredit it and now the last thing I want to do to close out this shape is just to click on the very first point you'll see how the pen tool now turns into a complete circle I'll click there and if we look here our our cat definitely needs to have uh, some fixing uh, with that so I'll press alt or option and just move that paddle right on in so now we have our shape we have a nice custom shape here I can actually right click here and I can go to define custom shape and I can call this kitten shape so now if I ever need to, I can just go and file and open up a new document. Let's make this just 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. And I'll show you here. If I go into my shapes here, you'll see at the bottom of my shapes, I now have a kitten. So I can click on that shape and I can make that shape as big as I want to. And I can even fill it with whatever color I want. And there could be a, a basic logo or something like that. So if you create your own logo out of a custom shape, it's now a vector based object. Okay. Which makes it not pixel based. So when you look at it, it's going to have very clean edges and not pixel based edges, but vector based edges, which can be very powerful when it comes to logo design or any shape design for that matter. So we can also just cut out the eyes. So now our eye, our shape has uh, eyes. Our little kitten has eyes that'll see right through us like most kittens do anyway. And we'll just click right here and then we'll click right here and we'll just get that overall shape again if I need to control and spacebar to zoom in to get the exact uh, where I need to be if I need to I can press control and click on that that point and just move it with my arrow keys left and right to get it exactly where I want it to be and then fix that paddle move it over and then I'll again I'll go over here and just click right here and fix that uh, point just close out that circle again if I need to alter option and move that paddle in so I get a nice selection for the eye and then I can move over here and I can do the same thing I can take my pen tool and click right here and then click right here and click and drag up 
until I need, I can zoom out a little bit. So I'll zoom out and then I'll just close that circle down and then I'll, I'll manipulate my paddles from there. So I'll click back on this guy, Alt or Option, and click right on that little corner, paddle, whatever you want to call it, move it in and get that shape exactly where we need it to be. Click on this one again and we can manipulate and modify that wherever we need it to go. And get that shape just where we want it to be. Boom. Looks good. Just like that. Perfect. Maybe bring this in just a little bit. Maybe bring that in just a little bit. Okay. So now if we were to right click on this and we go to define our custom shape, when we define our custom shape, you'll notice that our shape now has eyes. Awesome. So now we have a cat that's going to see right through us. Kitten uh, see through eyes. Okay. Uh, so now if I were to go new and make the 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels and we get our custom shape tool, we now have a kitten with eyes. All right. Beautiful kitten with eyes. <laughs> All right. So we went ahead and we defined this as a custom shape, but now let's do something else. So now what I want to do is I'm going to right click here and I'm going to fill this with uh, a color. Let's just fill it with uh, magenta. Okay. We'll fill this with magenta. And now you notice that it filled in the eyes. Now this is where you can do something called a vector mask. So I'm going to click on this shape that we made and then shift click and click on this point. And then I'm going to right click and say, create vector mask. And now you'll see that this kitten shape now has a, a vectorized mask. It's not a pixel based mask. Like you're used to working on layers. This is a vector based mask. So we can delete that background layer. And now this becomes our logo that we would have. So if we were to fix, shift click shift F five, fill that background layer with something like white. Uh, this would be the start of our logo design for our beautiful, uh, 18 month old kitten. Another thing we can do with this, let's say we've made our selection with our pen, just as we've done here, we can press control and enter or command and enter, and that will turn this into a selection. So we can make a selection right from that custom shape at any time by pressing command or control and enter. But just know that if we make this a selection and then we save this as say a brush or something like that, it's going to go from a, uh, vector based image to a pixel based image and you will get some splotchy kind of edges on it. So the best and most safest thing to do is once you have it like this, save it as a custom shape so you can always go back to it. So if you're designing your logo or somebody else's logo, you can use the pen tool to make a custom shape of their logo and you can make it as small as one inch by one inch to as large as a hundred inches by a hundred inches and not have to worry about uh, distortion of your edges and having pixel based edges and not looking like a clean shape because you have a vector based shape instead of a pixel based shape at that point. So the pen tool is not very easy to grasp. Okay. It takes quite a bit of time to get used to, but just grab those hotkeys uh, and just dive into it because the only way you're going to get good with it is with practice. So use those hotkeys, your alts, your controls, your shifts. Those three keys are like the wise men of hotkeys in Photoshop. Uh, consult with them before you consult with anything else. Uh, another thing is when you're making these shapes, remember to go uh, on curves. So you basically are looking from curve to curve while you're making your custom shape with the pen tool. If you like this tutorial, please comment, share it and subscribe. All right, because every Friday I put out new tutorials with all kinds of cool new information for you to see about Photoshop and your photography. And if you like tutorials like this, I have another site called F64 Elite, f64elite.com, and you can see full-blown courses uh, as a member, plus critique sessions, uh, an online forum for community. There's also website discounts and monthly challenges and all kinds of great stuff on f64elite.com. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. I do appreciate it. Mm -hmm.